Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have a Saab 93 2008 and it has a overheating problem. The temp gauge is going around three quarters, almost close to the rat. So, the main reason why car overheats is because because of coolant leak. And coolant coolant leak could happen for different reasons. Either the Either the hoses, uh, the coolant hoses, they have a hole in it, or crack heater holes, or uh, or broken uh, broken connection, which uh, which can uh, create a, a leak, and then when you lose the leak, the car will overheat. So this is only one reason. Another reason why uh, it leaks could be. The radiator is cracked and is leaking uh, coolant. When it leaks coolant, the car will overheat. Or the radiator is blocked, an example is over here. I have an example of how the radiator gets blocked. We have a dirt pollen from the road, it sticks on the radiator, radiator. or sometimes the radiator is damaged and it leaks all the coolant and the, the car. The water pump gives up, it seizes up and uh, you lose all the coolant. And sometimes the, the fan belt breaks. In this case, this uh, car has a chain. So the chain will last uh, for a long time, but if the chain breaks, uh, the, the pump will stop. And uh, sometimes the, the thermostat gets stuck closed. If it's stuck open, it's fine, it doesn't overheat, but if it's stuck closed, then the car will overheat. If your AC condenser is, uh, is uh, there's a lot of fins are uh, damaged or blocking the, the circulation of the air, the car will overheat. If you see the low coolant message, so stop and check your uh, coolant tank. So the best thing is you check the level of the coolant tank has to be right in the flash here in the middle. So if you if you if you notice uh, that you don't have any coolant in the tank, stop the car, wait to cool down, and uh, fill up a little bit of coolant, and check why the the coolant is uh, is missing in the tank. Now, if you see a lot of coolant un under the car, so stop driving the car. Simple as that. Most of the damage caused on the, on the, the big ones uh, caused on the car either are because of overheating. We lost all the coolant and the car overheated. But the problem is once the car gets overheated badly, then you're gonna have internal damage inside the engine. So the cylinder head will get warped, is made out of aluminum. When it cools down, it's gonna get warped. And the second thing, when you start the car, you fill up the coolant. Now uh, you have coolant from the cooling system entering the compression cylinders and uh, you end up burning uh, coolant. The, the car will be running very rough in this case. And you're gonna see some smoke in the back. So in order, in order not to get to that point, always stop the car, check the coolant. You get a message and stop and check the coolant. You might, maybe you hit the radiator or you hit the, the oil pan. You crack something, you damage something and then you lose all the fluids. So don't drive car without fluids. This is the worst thing you do on a car when you drive without fluids. Either it's coolant or engine oil or, uh, or even power steering oil, you lose everything. It's not good to drive the car. In this case, I have a, I have a Saab 93 2008. So it's maintaining the, the pressure, so the pressure isn't going down, so, so the way we do it, we put the adapter over here and we pump it, and we maintain, the, we see if the pressure is going down. So in this case, uh, the pressure is not going down, so we don't have any leaks. The car still have an overheating, uh, overheating problem. The next step is now we're gonna activate the fan to, to see if the fan is working properly. The, the 2008 Saab 93 works with the four different speed. So we need a TAC2. We need a TAC2 to ac activate the fan. Now I'm gonna show you how to activate the fan. 
So first we're gonna enter diagnostic 2008 sub 93. We're gonna go to engine, engine control. And then we press OK. And then we're gonna go to activations. We go, we scroll to fan and we press enter. As you see, we have, uh, it says decrease, increase, so it has four different speeds. So first we're gonna increase, press once, increase. So the, the relay clicked over there and nothing is working. So the fan, the first speed, the fan is not working. We're gonna, we're gonna try the second speed. So the second speed is working. And we're gonna press again. Third speed, nothing changed. Fourth speed is working. The test on the fan failed because speed number one isn't working on the, on the fan. The fan is working but speed number one is not working and speed number three didn't change. So since uh, the relay is clicking, the signal from the ECU to the relay is fine because we can hear the relay clicking. In some cases, if the wire between the, the ECU and the fan relay is uh, open circuit, the fan wouldn't work. But in this case, the wire is okay. So we're not looking at a wiring problem. We just, we're going to focus on, on this part. This is the part. It's called the uh, cooling fan control unit. So this is the cooling fan control unit. Speed number one is not working. So, so I'm gonna change this part. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna, we're gonna redo the test to see if it's gonna work. Let's connect the connector over here. Put it on the side. Insert a long screwdriver and push the, and push onto the locking mechanism with the screwdriver and disconnect it. Push it and pull the wire. And remove the, the wire. Undo the screw. And slide the resistor out. This is the new one. We're gonna slide it in and put the screw and slide it down. I'm gonna put the screw. And we're gonna connect the connector. Push the connector. Put it in place. Same thing with the other connector. So the main relay is in place for the fan, so I'm gonna reactivate the fan to see if the problem is fixed. Increase. As you see, the, the first speed is working now. Second. Third. So all uh, four speeds are working right now, so the problem was from the fan control unit. Now if you notice that the fans are making uh, noise, if the, the bearings on the fan are shot, then of course you have to change the fans too, because the fan, they draw too much current and they can, uh, they can destroy the control unit. But I'm gonna clean and wash the, the radiator from dust. And hopefully everything will work fine. Of course, I'm gonna rotate the car and make sure everything is fine. So thanks for watching.